गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन सो टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट शाहजहाँ ओके नाउ शाहजहाँ ही वॉज द सन ऑफ जहांगीर एंड ही रूल मुगल एम्पायर बिटवीन सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी एट टू सिक्सटीन फिफ्टी सेवन एंड ही वॉज बॉर्न इन फिफ्टीन नाइन्टी टू एंड हीज नेम वॉज खुर्रम वेन ही बिकेम द किंग ही केम टू बी नोन एज शाहजहाँ मीनिंग रूलर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो वी नो दैट जहांगीर मैरिज नूर जहाँ एंड नूर जहाँ वॉन्टेड टू नॉमिनेट हिज सन इन लॉ टू बी द नेक्स्ट किंग आफ्टर जहांगीर बट शाहजहाँ विद द सपोर्ट ऑफ द पीपल एंड इवन हिज फर्दर इन लॉ असफ खान हैज सपोर्टेड हिम एंड ही वॉज एबल टू मैनेज टू सक्सेड द थ्रोन so this is how sahaja became the ruler and got the throne clear and he was considered one of the greatest ruler of mughal empire now let's talk about his military campaigns as he was the greatest ruler and an ambitious man and he wanted to expand his empire like others king they did and he also faced many problem First he crossed the Bundel Rajput and then he invaded Deccan. Clear. And after that he annexed Ahmednagar in sixteen thirty three. Not only this, Bijapur and Golconda signed a peace treaty with Shah Jahan and agreed to pay an annual tribute to Shah Jahan. Clear. Now after doing all this. His position in Deccan became strong, and he had sent his army to Balkh and Badakhshah in Central Asia in order to add Samarkand to his capital. Now, Samarkand was the capital of whose? It was the capital of Timur. Clear, but this was one of his failure in the part of Sahaja, and other failure also. was been adopted by him that was he faced the problem that to recover khandar from the ruler of persia clear so next is our european traders now european were still continuing their trading activities and when sahaja came to know that portuguese were creating trouble that is they were not paying the custom duties then he defeated them and made them do the trade on his terms clear now when we talk about shah jahan he is known best for his architecture achievement and the architect the monument that were built we remember him best for those achievement clear do you know the most popular architecture achievement of shah jahan it was taj mahal at situated at agra which was and tom's his favorite wife mumtaz clear now then he built a new city also called sahajanabad and present day it is known by old delhi clear in 1657 he fell serious ill and when he became ill it has led to war of succession among his four son that uh, who will be the next king and his four son were dara sahasuja aurangajeb and murad baksh clear that was the name of the four son out of four son his third son aurangajeb emerged victorious and took the position of his father but later when sahaja recovered from illness aurangajeb imprisoned his father that is put him behind the bar at agra fort clear and he was that is haja was there in as an imprison at agra fort till his death in 1666 clear i hope it you have understood about saja so next we will move on to oranga jeb clear now oranga jeb who ruled from 1658 to 1707 he got the title alamgiri meaning conqueror of the world and he ruled for 49 years the same as akbar 
okay now he was not at all uh, tolerant towards other religion that is he was orthodox he reintroduced the jizya taxes uh, which was been abolished by akbar he also forced the people to convert into islam as he was very orthodox right and he lived a simple life due to this he was called jinda peer or living saint so children you must know first about the king than his military campaigns or the revolt okay now we will move on to the revolt so before that aurangzeb's uh, reign can be divided into two phases that is first one was from 1658 to 1680 when he was in northern india and second one was from 1681 to 1707 when he was in the deccan clear now the revolt aurangzeb focus was in north due to which the marathas they grew stronger in south now the famous ruler of Ma- marathas was shivaji seeing the powers uh, of shivaji aurangzeb was worried he tried to defeat uh, shivaji but he was not able to do so so what he did he make a conspiracy against him by calling shivaji to his court and then capturing him but shivaji being a powerful he escaped from there then he annexed golconda and bijapur clear aurangzeb increased the land taxes in uh, north india from 1/3 to uh, one half of the produce clear now next his deccan policy now aurangzeb spent the last 26 years of his reign in the deccan now he wanted to crush the power of marathas and strengthen his position in deccan for that aurangzeb annexed bijapur in 1686 and golconda in 1687 but however this conquest did not benefit the empire why because it was difficult to administer this land as it was far from its capital and this policy was proved failure why as due to the continuous war his treasury was empty and this led to the loss of numbers of soldier and due to long absence of aurangzeb from north his administration in north suffered a lot and this led to broke out the mughal authority clear so children today we have discussed about shahaja and aurangzeb so must go through it thank you